Job search, especially after a layoff, is really, really hard. Just picture this. You are laid off, you're helpless, and you're left to fight a lonely battle. Maybe before December 2022, before ChatGPT was launched, that was the case, but not anymore. ChatGPT, Gemini, Copilot, Meta AI, we have all these powerful AI tools with us all the time. It's like having a free personal assistant 24 hours 7 and it's million times more powerful than humans. ChatGPT played a crucial role in helping me to secure multiple interviews. I'm going to talk about how I use ChatGPT to revamp my resume for networking with people on LinkedIn and to write powerful LinkedIn posts. In fact, it is one of these LinkedIn posts that got me a job offer. So find out more please watch this video fully. Welcome back guys. So in this layoff series, I'm particularly making videos that can help people in layoff come out of it successfully. How I use ChatGPT for optimizing my resume. I personally use ChatGPT. You can go for any tool like Gemini or Meta AI or Copilot. A good resume is like a ticket into the interview process. So my initial resume when I started was very amateurish. Particularly in US, a lot of companies have ATS resume scanners. So if you see the statistics from job scan, almost 99% of Fortune 500 companies use ATS, 66% of large companies and 35% of small organizations rely on ATS. So there is no way in avoiding ATS especially for applying directly on the website. So what ATS is basically doing is it just scans for specific keywords and then it tries to generate a matched score with the job description and generally the recommendation is at least a 75% or 80% match should be there to clear that ATS scanner so the key here is basically to plug in keywords wherever we can so for that i personally use chatgpt i applied to a lot of data analyst roles so i just took like four or five job descriptions which i can find on linkedin and i fed that to chatgpt uh, the exact prompt what i use for you are my resume writer extract the most important keywords to plug into a data analysis system from the about job description and so now you get the list of keywords and i just try to plug in wherever i could and now once you did this the next step is obviously the bullet points i realized that my bullet points were not very impactful so i went back to chat gpt to rewrite all the bullet points which i had in my resume i took the list of three or four bullet points copy and pasted that in chat gpt and i used this exact same prompt you are my resume writer rewrite these points using this formula accomplished x as measured by y by doing z make sure you add numbers to make it more outcome focused keep it short and sweet chat gpt work like a magic we clearly see here i'm asking chat gpt to make it more outcome and numbers focused so that's why i had to be a little bit careful here because i just cannot put in like fake numbers from chat gpt so i made sure that i was able to justify each and every number or metric that it was giving out my first resume looked like this after using chat gpt it now looked like this there is a whole lot difference because it was more professional looking and more outcome and numbers focused how i use chat gpt for networking on linkedin even if you have a 75% or 80% or even a like 100% match the interview call is not a guarantee so instead we want to look at the other option which is networking and uh, through networking we can in fact bypass the ats and straight away land our resume in the hands of a recruiter or hiring manager if i find a job that i'm interested in in a certain company i went straight ahead to the company page and look for people who are working in the specific role in the company instead of sending a connection request without any note i would send a personalized connection request to generate that message i used a specific chat gpt prompt act as my linkedin assistant write a personalized connection invite the hiring manager or recruiter or whoever that person is with a 300 character limit asking for referral to a job posting using a professional tone so here i have used a professional tone but you can also ask it to go for a more softer tone or a lighter tone i would certainly add even the job id of that particular job role in the connection invite now sometimes on the job posting itself you can clearly see the hiring manager or the recruiter information as well so if i see something like that then what i usually do is apart from sending this connection invite i would also go ahead and send a email if i have email credits or a email if i'm able to find the email id of that person for sending an email or in mail we can certainly use the power of chatgpt to generate a very personalized email here's here's the prompt i used so here's the job description just copy and paste the job description here's the resume copy and paste the resume and you can ask it to write an email to the recruiter or the hiring manager requesting for an interview it's going to generate a very specific email 
to that job description. This is a big, big time saver for me. So these are two potential areas where you can certainly use ChatGPT for networking. How to use ChatGPT to write powerful LinkedIn posts. Probably if you don't know this, it is one of these LinkedIn posts that I wrote, which actually got me an interview and a job offer. It's really a powerful networking strategy. We can make the people who we want to connect with reach out to us instead of the other way around. So this is the exact post which actually got me a job offer. I was just sharing my personal journey over the last one month of layoff. It's not something which was ChatGPT generated. I generated a rough draft. I just poured my heart out into the post and then I used ChatGPT to actually rewrite and refine the post. If I, if I had just used ChatGPT to generate a LinkedIn post, it wouldn't have been like natural. I don't think it would have gotten me any call. I need to put in a certain amount of work before using ChatGPT. Give you a light demo. This is one of the posts I'm going to post. And here's the first draft. And it's not bad. I can post it just like this. But when you suddenly have a tool like ChatGPT, why not use it? So I used a specific prompt to rewrite this LinkedIn post into a more professional and engaging manner. Act as my LinkedIn content writer. Help me rewrite the below LinkedIn post in an engaging and conversational tone. And just paste the rough draft what you are drafted. And just see the magic. It's now so like a professional LinkedIn post and I can certainly see that it's more engaging and now now you can certainly play around with ChatGPT if you want a bit of humor in your post you can certainly ask it to add certain bits of humor here and there and the most important thing the first line is what attracts the audience to keep reading that post you can use this prompt like make the first line of this post very engaging and captivating so it's all about being creative and having a little bit fun with AI tools so hopefully you found some value with this video if you're currently laid off on h1b and you're not sure what to do you're feeling confused then please check out this i have given out all the potential options that you can take after you're laid off on h1b if you like this video please hit a thumbs up like and share the video among all the people who might find this video useful and please subscribe to the channel for more interesting content like this see you again soon with another interesting video bye from sandeep